Hi you guys, my name is Kasha and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I potty trained our toddler in four days. So before I get into more of this video, I just want to quickly touch on a few things before I get into the nitty gritty because I feel like it's relevant and I feel like it's going to really help you understand like how I'm structuring this video. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is, as I'm sure some of you know, I did post a short version of this video to my channel and if you're kind of wondering what the difference between that is going to be versus this. So obviously this video is longer so I'm able to include more detail and I'm really trying to do a timeline with this video and so I did go ahead and I timestamped this video by the steps and the steps steps and the tricks that I talked about in the short video are basically the exact same except for here I'm able to elaborate more and I'm going to be kind of talking about our journey so that way you kind of have an example and I feel like with something like potty training a full story is really good because I feel like as parents we wonder and so I'm going to be giving the full story of our potty training journey and then the last two things that I wanted to talk about just to give a little bit of background are I have a two and a half year old son his name is Joey and when it comes to potty training I really do think that age is something that is just not super indicative of whether or not your kiddo is ready to be potty training we did have a completely failed first potty training attempt at around the age of two and we totally put potty training behind us and we didn't even think about it until a couple of months ago when we started prepping for potty training and doing things very gradually which is what I'm going to be talking about in this video but when Joey was two I was definitely the mom that was like YouTubing how to potty train a one and a half year old how to potty train a two year old and I couldn't really find anything like what I'm about to share with you guys I feel like it was all just like the three day method the five day method how to potty train a boy how to potty train a girl and coming from me I personally don't think that it really matters and that you should do a different approach depending on boy or girl obviously maybe different underwear but when it comes to the overall process i think this will definitely work for both and the way i knew that our potty training attempt at two was going to be a failed one it's because he just was not ready and i really do want to stress that i feel like if your kiddo is not fully ready it's going to be a lot harder for them to grasp the concept because at around the age of two i decided that we were going to do the three-day method since that's one of the only things i knew i was a brand new mom i had no idea and it just seemed like that's what everyone was doing and so attempted to do the three-day method we put the underwear on him and he was not grasping the concept whatsoever like he was having accidents which is normal to have accidents however i could see that he was just not making the connection like when i have an accident in order to prevent the accident i have to go to the potty or i have to tell mom that i have to go to the bathroom soon it that just was not there whatsoever so it was a failed attempt we put it behind us and now we started potty training him officially again at two and a half so the way i'm kind of planning on telling you guys this journey will be kind of the last thing I mentioned. So like I said, I did timestamp this video, but I'm planning on kind of giving you guys my tips and tricks. And there's basically five of those categories. And then also at the very end, I added in potty training on the go. And I'll show you guys some of my must haves that I have. And then also my tips for going number two. So even though we are on day 16 today, and I would consider him fully potty trained and would say he's pretty much has been since grasping the concept at day four really like solidly we still struggle a little bit with poop so it is what it is i'll share some tips at the very end of this video but without further ado let's get into the rest of this video so my first kind of tip that i want to talk about is starting with the intention before you actually commit like i said at around the age of two we had our first failed potty training attempt and we kind of put that all behind us we didn't really focus on potty training whatsoever we took a little bit of break because it was pretty stressful if i'm being honest and potty training should just be something that is not super stressful for you as the parent but also for the child because this is something that like they have to learn and so it should be a relatively smooth experience as much as possible so a couple months ago we started revisiting the top and Joey was at the age of two starting to show the signs that he is starting to be ready for potty training. Some of the signs were that he started being more interested in the bathroom and kind of more interested when my husband and I were using the bathroom. He was also more interested in his body and like his diaper and just all the things down there. And so that is when we started revisiting the topic and we decided to fully prep our bathroom to gradually get him ready to potty train. And so we kind of have two things going in our bathroom. I'll walk you guys through them. We have a potty training toddler seat 
and this is a fully a new toilet seat cover that we just keep on obviously all the time we fully replaced it this one is great it's off amazon it has a magnetic attachment to the toddler lid so that way when you're using the lid and you first open it it's automatically attached but when your toddler is ready to go ahead and hop on the potty you just go ahead and put it down attach it back it just looks like a normal lid i love it and then we also do have a little potty so i was really skeptical of getting a potty just because i was definitely the mom who really wanted to potty train him on the toilet when we first did our first failed potty training attempt we noticed really quickly that joey was really afraid of the toilet and so in order to overcome that fear since that is something we would have to do. We got that little potty, we put it in the bathroom in hopes that whenever we go to the bathroom, he kind of sees that maybe he's encouraged to sit on it, even if he's wearing clothes and kind of slowly transition him to the big toilet. So now once our bathroom is fully set up, basically for I would say about two-ish months, we really try to encourage him to sit on the little potty, sit on the big potty, and eventually he would sit on the actual toilet, which was great. And once we hit, I would say that mark, we implemented something that I think is really important and again we're still at that point that we're not committing we're just like introducing them to it we're not fully saying like you gotta pee on the potty we started whenever it was bath time we decided that we would always ask him if he wants to go on the potty and if he would sit down and he would go he would go and if he didn't in the beginning which he did not it would be fine and we would just say okay then it's time for your bath and we would get in the tub but eventually he would start to go on the little potty and whenever he would go we would make a huge deal about it and the next night we would then ask him do you want to go on the big potty and sometimes he would go and again we would make a big deal about it and then we would go on with bath time no commitment no stress no anything just getting really excited that he's starting to like understand the concept that this is where we go pee we also did have one occurrence where he did go number two on the little potty we were just really lucky because it was one night where he really had to go joe my husband he asked him if he wanted to try to go on the potty no stress whatsoever he said yes and he did end up going and we made the biggest deal about it we were like see it's not a scary thing it's a good thing it doesn't hurt there's no bad that comes out of it you just went in the potty instead of going in your diaper and he got really excited and we just went about the rest of our night so that i would say was huge is trying to implement a little routine like that at any point of the day that it works for you but to really start getting them to go because i truly believe that that is what made the transition into fully committing a lot easier the second tip that i want to talk about is how we kind of introduced him and kept him getting used to the concept of going to the potty throughout the duration of this bathroom setup and having him go at night so we did get the elmo p is for potty book off amazon it was really great i felt like it was very interactive joey really enjoyed reading it and i think the concept is illustrated really well and just helping him like see like oh elmo is going to the bathroom too it was really helpful to him he really liked it and he enjoyed reading it so i highly recommend that book the next thing that goes into potty training prep is obviously picking out some sort of underwear so i did just run over to target and i got the cat and jack brand i'll show you guys they're really nice these are the ones that we got for boys they wash really well i don't really notice them shrinking joey took to them really well but throughout the process of taking him to the bathroom before bath time and then just getting him used to the potty we had about two to three days it was usually on the weekends when my husband was home that we did put on the underwear on him just to kind of see what he was doing and it was basically very similar to the time that when we had our failed potty training attempt he would go he would have an accident but we were just kind of trying to help reiterate that when we have an accident we have to go in the potty and he wasn't super interested in it because obviously when a kiddo is wearing a diaper i feel like they just like the convenience of not having to go to the bathroom when they're in the middle of playtime there was no commitment to it we just kind of wanted to keep reinforcing that when we're wearing underwear we go in the potty in the hopes that this would help us when we are fully ready to commit and i do think that it really did help moving on to four four is really recognizing the signs that your kiddo is really truly ready at around the age of two and a half we knew that joey was pretty ready to commit to just wearing underwear because whenever he was pooping he would always tell us that he needs to go and he wanted privacy and this was basically nine out of ten times that he would do that whenever he had to pee though that was a little bit different because it was sometimes like he didn't fully obviously know that he was going in that moment so sometimes he would tell us and sometimes he didn't but just the fact that he was telling us sometimes was a good sign the third way we knew he was ready is that we finally overcame that fear 
picture of the actual big toilet, which I think was huge, that he was comfortable sitting on the little potty and the big toilet. And lastly, the reason we knew is because he had gone during those times when we were taking him to the bathroom before bath time, he did go numerous times. He went pee several times. Number two, we only got lucky one time, but just the fact that he did was making us a lot more comfortable. And so we knew that we were ready to start transitioning to finally picking a day and only wearing underwear. All right, so now you are fully ready to commit to potty training. This is the daunting day that you might be nervous for. I know I was very nervous. I was very intimidated. I didn't know if it was gonna be like our first go around. I had no idea and I really just wanted him to be like potty trained already because I just felt like I was gonna make outings easier and just so many things. So we're finally ready. We picked a day. We actually decided to fully go all in on Memorial Day. And what we did is we just said bye diaper in the morning after he woke up and we put him in underwear and we just said, we are going to commit to this for a couple of days and see how it goes. He was definitely having accidents. However, by day four, he has been telling us every single time that he needs to go to the bathroom. Accidents have been very minimal. We are on day 16 and I think he's probably had two accidents between day four and 16. And both times they were like he thought he was being funny and he would go like he would tell us he needs to go but then he would be like mama pee pee on floor and he would go and so then I would tell him we don't do that on the floor he fully understood he's just being a goofball and he would go also I want to add when we fully committed we didn't do like extra juice or rewards or anything like that we just let him lead the way we followed his natural schedule and when he would go and tell us that he would go we would just make a big deal out of it I didn't feel like it was necessary he grasped onto the concept really fast and I just wanted to share that in case you were wondering. Now when it comes to leaving the house we didn't start leaving the house until day four when he was pretty confidently always telling us that he has to go to the bathroom just because I didn't want an accident I didn't know how long he could hold it but by day four I was realizing that he honestly can hold it for two to three hours if I need him to and if I keep telling him we're not gonna go potty in mama's car and so that is when I started being more confident and taking him out and I will cover potty training on the go in a little bit but what I do want to talk about right now is that he he is only potty trained for days fully. Nights and naps are something that we have not tackled yet. I don't think he's fully ready. Naps, he sometimes has a completely dry diaper and sometimes he does go. More often than not, it is completely dry and so I do think that naps is the first thing that I would tackle but I just don't think we're fully there yet until he has a longer stretch. When it comes to nights, his diaper is still pretty saturated. I would say over the last couple of days it's less which I think is a really good sign because I know that he can hold it and so I think that his body is like slowly starting to adjust to holding it more during all the hours of the day but nights is something that I'm really not going to stress about again he's not even three and I know that I said that age is not a huge thing but just the fact that he isn't even three I think he's doing a really good job so I'm not going to stress about it too much potty training on the go I do have an on the go bag that I did put together I'll show you it doesn't have to be super elaborate I literally just use one of our old little lemon bags and I'll show you everything that I have in here again it's super simple I just keep this in my car at all times the first thing that I think is really important is we got a little toilet seat cover I know some people have like a full-on potty in their trunk we just don't we never really introduced that and so it does really well with the cover I got this off Amazon I'll link all the things that I've gotten off Amazon for you guys in the description so it's easy if you want to refer to it but we got the blue one I think they have a different color if you want to but it kind of just unfolds like this and then in the back, it has little sticky suction things. And so you just suction it to whatever toilet it is that you're using. It does come with a bag that you can put it in. So once it's cleaned up, you put it in the bag and then you just stick it in here and it doesn't take up too much space. I will say potty training on the go, he's still a little bit shy and timid of it. And sometimes he does cry and he says that we will just go home so unless we're going over to someone's house who he knows like my mom's house he sometimes we just have to leave but he does go pretty long stretches he could hold it for three or four hours I know that that's probably not the best for him since he is still very little however if like I really really was struggling you know you go somewhere and you can't just immediately leave it's not too big of a deal sometimes though I can encourage him to go but he's still a little bit intimidated by it which I think is totally normal so we have this on the bag we also have just like a set of wet wipes and then I have two extra pairs of underwear and two extra shorts and that's it 
And then on the actual car seat, we have two dogs. And so we have like those puppy pads already from when they were really little and I have like a bunch extra. And so ever since we started potty training him, we have had like a puppy pad kind of rolled up and it's still in his car seat to this day in case he has an accident. He's never had an accident in the car, but I've heard that that's a good way to do it. And so we do that. And I also have heard that if you do have like a little potty in the actual trunk of your car, a good way to avoid a mess is putting one of those down so that way it absorbs when they go and then you can just like easily put it in a disposable bag. We have not done that obviously because we don't have one, but that's just a tip I have if you were to do something like that. Last thing we're gonna talk about in this video before I let you go and that is going number two. I know that going number two for many kids can be very daunting. It can be stressful for you as the parent. To be honest, it is still kind of stressful for us. The first two times he went during the time of potty training, he did really, really well. He definitely prefers to go number two on the bigger toilet because of the reason that I feel like whenever he goes on the floor he kind of bunches up his legs and that's just like his preferred position and he's able to do that on the big toilet because obviously the seat is bigger and so that's kind of the position in which he goes in so the first two times went really well and then since then he is not like afraid I feel like the biggest thing is that he just really likes his privacy he likes to be alone he doesn't like to be taken away from his playtime so whenever we notice that he's starting to go we keep encouraging him to go to the bathroom and I find that my husband has a lot better luck with this than I do. Finally, when we get him to get on the toilet seat, there are obviously maybe a little bit of something in his underwear and then we just change it but we have managed to not have any like full accidents on the floor which I think is a great accomplishment but it still is that he's just a little bit more intimidated to go on the actual toilet. When it comes to frequency I feel like with potty training him the frequency has gone way down because before I feel like he would just the convenience of the diaper like he was always going number two but now with having to go on the toilet and us encouraging him I would say he goes to the bathroom maybe like every two to three days and if he starts to go on the floor we'll catch him we'll tell him no like let's go on the potty and sometimes he'll stop and then sometimes he will tell us okay like let's try to go on the potty and again like I said he does have better luck with my husband and so I find that usually when he goes it's at night and again you'll probably find a groove but just keep encouraging them to go on the potty that's really all you can do it can be a little daunting i've heard that it's very normal for kiddos to be a little bit more shy and i don't think he will ever be fully less intimidated not for a while and i think that's okay because he's doing really well it just takes a lot of patience with that on our part as parents that is the little tidbit with number two. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that you took away from this that potty training doesn't have to be like super stressful and it doesn't have to be like you have to get it done in like three days. I really do think that a really gradual and slow approach to this is better and it makes it a lot less stressful for you but also for your child because ultimately like they're learning something that is so new to them and if you just throw them in the bathroom for the first time and expect them to always have a clean pair of underwear and not have be having accidents it could just be intimidating for them and then you're super stressed out as well so i hope this was helpful to you if you have any questions please leave them down below i will also put my instagram handle right here and you can always go ahead and dm me also if you have any other tips that worked for your little one, kind of like your tricks that you've learned through potty training, please leave them down below so that way this is kind of like a reference for all parents trying to navigate because we all know it can be stressful. But if you like this video and if it was helpful to you and you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I am a mom vlog channel and so I show a lot of like day in the life cleaning tips. I share a lot of shorts too so be sure to go ahead and check those out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.